Hi guys, Massa here. In today's video, I will show you the painting process of this cathedral. Let's do it! I started by applying primer to the whole cathedral. During the painting process, I decided to change the colors. I tried to use two tones for the cathedral, and because of that, it was taking too much time. I had to hurry, and it didn't work out. Sometimes it's better to do less, right? So, I applied black primer again. I did it with an airbrush to get a more homogeneous cover. After the black primer, I'm applying white. This way, it will help to create darker and lighter areas. Now, I will mix some colors to paint the stone. A darker tone, a medium tone and a lighter tone. First, tan earth color mixed with black. Then, golden brown mixed with tan earth and also black. And finally, the lighter tone, golden brown, black, moon ray flash and white. Later, I will add lighter tones to highlight even more. I applied the darker tone with the airbrush. I used water and Tamiya thinner to dilute the paint. You can use a hair dryer to speed drying. I added a little Tiamat orange to the second mixture. I removed the excess paint before applying the brush. I also changed the third mixture. I added miscatonic gray. Mixing Ultra Blue with grey and black to apply it into the roof. Guys, I diluted this paint with water and Tamiya thinner to apply with an airbrush, but I thought it would be more difficult, so I decided to apply it with a brush. But as I added Tamiya thinner, the result was different. 
and I liked it at the end. It was with a different viscosity and it entered into the deepest areas, creating shadow. Almost like a wash, but covering better than a wash. After it dries, I mixed Eudra Blue and the Surfer Arc Flash, removed the excess paint and applied it into the roof. Applying a dark brown wash, a very diluted paint that will get into the deepest parts. It will create an old effect on stones. When I don't have a ready to use wash, I mix a product called Washable Agent with a paint to make it washable. In this case, I used it with tan earth mixed with black. I don't know if it is usual to add water to wash in some cases but I added to it to let it flow better. I'm painting base coat for the door with dark flesh tone. Now, I will paint the window with an acrylic metallic paint, black metal. Before applying it, I removed the excess paint. I will keep the lower part of the cathedral darker, but first I will use the airbrush to apply a color variation with Inktense Ochre. I used a very diluted paint, diluted with water and tamiya I dry brushed the door with Landon's Grey. To do this, I removed the excess paint, letting the brush almost dry. After it dried, I applied the wash with Inktense Wood Color. I'm reinforcing some shadow areas using the airbrush with the same color I used in the lower part of the cathedral, to unearth mixed with black. And painting the metal details in the door. In 
inside the cathedral, I'm using a Burkholz brown mixed with a little black. I want the interior to be darker. Because of the wash, the stones have a little shine. To reduce it, I'm applying matte varnish. I think it will be more interesting to paint around the window like stone and keep the metal just inside. some details with black metal. I will also do it in all windows, letting stone just around. I applied raster purple on the carpet and now I'm lighting use blood red, removing the excess paint with a paper to cover less surface and create contrast. Finishing with wash, I used Inktense Violet mixed with Inktense Black to make the wash. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you also painted this cathedral, don't forget to share it with us. We would love to see your results. Bye bye!